Okay. Um, okay. Welcome back. So now we're gonna be doing um, variations without uh, repetitions. Variation without repetitions, which is uh, which is this. We we've done this. I'm sorry. We've done this, and this is the next one we're gonna be doing now. So variations with without repetitions. Um, imagine. Let's let me let me. Of course, you know the definition of variations, and of course, without repetitions, you know. So we said variations from this definition here. We said variation is in to, it is the total number of ways we can pick and arrange some element of a given set. So, of course, with with repetition, and of course, without repetition. So here we are going to be dealing without repetitions. So let me let me let me put it. Let me think of a practical uh, situations. Okay. Okay, let's imagine you have a plumbing jobs to give to four plumbers. Maybe you are you you are experiencing you have a duplex and you are experiencing clogs in your toilet, um, in your toilet, and you needed the service of plumbers, say four plumbers, and of course, and you have um, normally you have five plumbers at your disposal, but you are in need of four out of ten out of the five. So in this case. Uh, we say you want to, you, you need four plumbers and you have to pick from five available plumbers. So let's say the name of the plumbers are, let's say, uh, the name of your plumbers are, let's say you have, um, sorry, let me, let me, let's say you have one of your plumbers name is say Yinka. Let's say we have Yinka. Let's say you have Tunji as one of your plumbers name. Let's say we you have, um, say John. As one of your plumber's name, let's say you have a maid as one of your plumber's name, and of course, let's say you have a um, Sule, Sule as one of your what plumber's name. Now you you have to pick from you have to pick four plumbers from all these plumbers at your disposal. So if you decided to give and um, to give them, or if you if you decide to give them the job according to how good they are, uh, now let let's assume. Uh, the best amongst them is let's assume the best amongst them is uh, say uh, let's assume the best among them among them is Yinka. You understand? And so then Yinka fills the, the the other uh, of your priority list, which is what number one fills number one out of the other of your priority list. Now let's say okay, you still consider number um, Tunji to be in the number two, so you are now left with what John Ahmed. Of course, we have how many spaces do we have to fill? Let's say we have one. Let's say we have uh, one space. We have, we have um, these are the spaces to fill. Excuse me. Oh, so these are the spaces to fill. You understand? Now let's assume. Let's assume. Um, let's assume. Let's assume, um, sorry, excuse me. Let's assume we have three. Let's say three. Let's assume three. We are looking for number four. You understand? Let's assume we don't know uh, who, who fills number three and four. Now we are left with what? Three and four options. So you understand? Position, slot, open. So because we needed only four to take the job, what if we say... The number three is to be taken by John, for example. Let's say John takes the number three. Let's say John takes the number three. Let's say John takes the number three. And of course, four to be taken by say Sully. Say Sully. Sully. Let's say Sully takes um four to be taken by what? Sully. Or we could either say decide the other way around. Say Sully takes number three and Ahmed takes number four. Let's assume Sule takes number three and Ahmed takes number four. Now, regardless of who fills the third and fourth position or fourth spot, the same this the 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 the, 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 the short thing is this the thing that is very short or that is very the certain thing is that there are six ways we can select the spot. The spot of I mean the, the position of three and four. That is the certain thing. There are what? six ways we can select the third and fourth position because we can decide to put john and Sully. we can decide to put ahmed and john we can decide to put uh Sule and ahmed 
you understand we can decide to put che you understand we can decide to put anybody you understand so because uh because because we are battling with this third and fourth position so to, to the number of ways we can uh, the number of ways we can arrange or select the uh, for for this sport is what six ways she understand how did i know that that there are six ways i can i can assume if i were in your position i will ask how how did i know that there are six ways now let's see we have two positions you understand and we have to select um four four out of five we have two positions so here we are saying three persons are jostling for these two positions that is it so because three persons are jostling for the two position we have what three times what um say say two three persons just jostling for what uh or hustling for two positions so three times two that is what six ways we can arrange them so that is just that so now let's assume we don't know who feels the second position let's assume we don't know who feels uh the second position let's assume we don't know that we only know uh one she understand because we know the first position position then we are left with what four persons to fill what the remaining slots which is what three slots we have four slots in total we've known the first position we have four persons remaining you understand out of that is four plumbers remaining out of five plumbers one has filled this time we only needed four plumbers and now three slots are remaining for what the remaining four plumbers so so uh because uh because we've known that the last two slots eh, there are six ways to what to there are six ways to what to there are six ways to what to select from the remaining plumbers on on those two slots you understand so because we know that and we now we are we, do, we assume we don't know any other person we don't we have not filled any slot and we have only one um this time you have to select now because as we move down the um, position the slots the last two slots are being filled by what can only be arranged by what is in what in how many ways six ways you understand so definitely second and third this, this second third and fourth will now be what we now be say we now say we have four persons abby just need for second third and fourth so we now say four times six four times six which is what 24. you understand it's four times six is what 24. so we now have 24 ways to arrange to select from four persons to occupy the remaining three positions we now have 24 ways how did i know if you take a look at the previous example i did the two positions say uh number four three and four were to be occupied by three plumbers you understand now three times two positions will be now be what six now we now moved we now moved up and say okay we don't know the second position too let's now have the second position so the second position down the lane will now be what she understand because now it will now be what it will now be four persons instead of three persons occupying justly for that now four persons will now be what struggling for that second position so it will now be four times the previous six that we had it will now be what 24. so let's assume we don't even know who the first position is let's assume we don't know who the first position is so in this case because we don't know who the first position is we will now say okay five because now five position will now be justly for what four now we have 24 justling for second to what to fourth now we now have five persons just hustling for first position so we now say okay what again do we do we will now multiply five by 24. so this now gives us what 120. you understand so the idea is that as as we as we continue to go down the slot the fewer options we are what left with so this is what variations without repetition is all about we can't use the same person or element more than once that is it so in the simple terms the option we have to arrange four persons four plumbers from what five available um, slots is now what five times four times three times two times one which is what 120.
You understand? So the formula for variation uh, without repetition is this. Let me... The formula for variations without what? Repetition. This is it. Let me clean this up. Let me clean this. Let me clean this up. So the formula for variations without what? Repetition is say um, V. Sorry, excuse me. Let me use this. Let me use another color so that it will separate them. Let me say V N P equals N factorial divided by what? N minus P factorial. N factorial divided by what? N minus P factorial. So now let's now use that example of plumber. Let's say you have N is the what number of uh, total number we have available. And of course, P is the position, the slot they have to fill. So let's now use that in this example. So we have five, you have five plumbers at your disposal. So we now see five factorial here divided by five minus what? Uh, one. I mean, sorry, four. Because it's what? Four persons you need. Four factorial. You understand? So the answer will now be what? Four minus, five minus four is what? One. So we now have five factorial divided by what? One factorial. One factorial is the same thing as one. So the answer is now what? Five times four times three times two times one divided by what? One. You understand? Five times four times three times two times one will now what? Give us what? 120, which corresponds to the, uh, the example I gave uh, before. So that is that on variation without what? Um, repetition so in our next class we'll be having uh, we'll be doing uh we'll be moving up to combinations you understand combinations and of course that's how we keep growing and keep growing and please uh i have not started giving task as to say uh regarding our lesson so far i know i have my reasons for that don't worry i'm trying to uh make it more sensible to you so that i can know that i can be sure that you guys are following up so by the time by the time we have a good grasp of what we have been doing or what we are doing of course i'll start setting or sending um uh, you start giving assignment and stuff so thank you for thank you for your time and of course god bless